Today we're going to Crotty's Lake. Second time doing this, microphone keep forgetting to turn on. Um, which is a lake that's in a bowl, surrounded by a mountain. Looks really cool, but the story behind it is what's the killer. Also, I just came up this road fairly quick in a rally cross, pretty much. I, I, I came up this road pretty quick and it was dust everywhere. It looked epic, it looked really cool. Um, but yeah, anyway. That's it, we're about to start walking. I think it's about two kilometers up from judging by the signs, following the signs. Um, yeah, but this place looks really nice. Someone's looking after it. They're cutting the grass the whole way down and up and everything. So yeah, that's all I have to say now. I'm gonna turn the camera off. There's nothing to worry about. And uh, I'll be back to you in a minute. As long as they don't find out I keep drinking this, everything will be all right. This is the most welcoming walk I've ever been on so far, and I've just started. It's like a little cafe here, kind of stand, stand in one. me after a pint of Guinness. <laughs> so this is absolutely unbelievable. <laughs> this is so nice. Fairy garden. kind of a stone design this is unbelievable apparently there's horses up here that have just come in from Germany so we're gonna go and talk to them there's an absolutely huge hawk that hawk is called a red kite oh I speak their language guten morgen See, they, they understood. Ah, gu guten Morgen. Uh, that's all I have. Come here, you beauties. Jeez, they're, they're walking kind of weird. Are they have to get new shoes or something. These horses look fab. But I was told, do not touch this electric wire. It will blow you to pieces. Look at you, fella. Oh, you lovely, aren't ya? I don't speak German properly, but Oh yeah, they're new shoes. New shoes, that's why they're walking so weird. Hey, good seeing you lads. Stunning horses. That's where we're going. Wait, what if I jumped up on a horse without a saddle and just took off up to the mountains? Sometimes my ideas are a bit dangerous. These are the most photogenic horses in the world. I've just took a few photos of them and they're just standing there with their heads to the side with Schlieven them on in the background. Unbelievable tack. Yep. Remember the pipe. Remember that pipe. I'll explain when I get up there about it. There's two of them by the way, there's another one back there. I'm not killed at all. Oh, Jesus. This is not an easy walk. It's very uphill. Nice view though. Oh, someone just down there. They're following me. Since them towers back there, 5G towers. Oh, I gotta pick it up. 
So there's these small little birds that live up the mountains like here called snipe. I don't know if they have something to do with the word sniper because they're so hard to shoot. I think that's the thing actually. But I usually only see one or two of them up the mountains I go, but there is lots of them around here. I don't know if you even saw him, but there is lots of them around here, which is great to see. Whoa. Going up to this rock up here, whatever this is. Let's see. Just remember the pipes. These stones, I'm reckon where the pipe is. I reckon. There's a second pump house. When you see that, you gotta head directly for it and then go through the gap. This is one of the more intense flames that I've done, and it doesn't seem like it, but it's killer. I went way too hard climbing that hill. Still not at the top, it gets like life. Gets a little harder before it gets better. There's my life advice. But anyway, I went too hard climbing this hill and I can feel my heartbeat booming in my ears. That means I'm gonna pass out. So I gotta sit down here for five or 10 minutes and let my heart rate regulate itself again. Because uh, that's not good. But I got a nice view to look at though. Feels like that scene in 300 where they're going through the cave and they push him in the back. I don't know what I'm talking about. Pipe goes out into the water. That's what those pipes were for. It feeds, it's a, it's a main line supply. They pull water from here, bring it down, filtrate it, send it on. Happy days. That's a big drop. I don't want to fall. Also, there's two boys I met. Hello, if you're looking at this video. We're going around to a cave that's supposed to be around this way. I am absolutely not wrecked at all though. So there's a hole in the ground here and there's a really big breeze coming up out of it. Can't see down into it. But we go around here and I'll tell you the story about Karate and this lake. Oh, I've been climbing. I'm, I'm looking up here. Apparently there's a cave around here somewhere. But, ah, I don't know where it is. I think it's over here. But then again, it might be over there. I'll let you know if this is it. Although this looks like a... Although this looks like a cool cave, it's actually not. It's just water and an overhang. But we're going to climb down from here now because if you see by the angle of my shoe, we're on a very steep hill. So I got to almost slide down whilst crawling sideways. That makes sense. I reckon the cave is somewhere there. To all the people over there who are looking over at me and pointing, don't worry about me, I'm on some X Games shit right now.
Huh? Is there a cave up here? Show me where it is, lad. They're over that way. Over that way. That way. You're not listening. Alright, I've climbed enough of this to figure out that there is no cave here. So I'm getting down now. I just don't know how I'm gonna get. Just don't know how I'm gonna get down from that part over there because that was really dodgy to climb up. So I can't imagine what it would be like to come down. We'll see, I suppose. Reunited and it feels so good. Yeah, he, he went over and he's found his mama. So, here is the story of William Crotty, Crotty's Lake. And we're gonna put a bit of a twist on it today because I'm an idiot and my phone died and I have no reception when my phone wasn't dead. So I'm gonna to have to do all of this story from brain. <laughs> okay, brain, let's do it. So basically, here's the story. I'm gonna link some articles down below if you, re if you wanna read into it, a uh, very interesting one. So back in the 18th century, there was a guy named William Crotty. He was a highwayman, so basically he was a robber. He was like Robin Hood, he's, uh, in some of the articles it said, because he stole from the rich, like gold and all that, and he gave to the poor. So the police could never really catch him they really struggled to catch him and he had a gang of people and they lived up around this area and there's a rumor to be a cave around here somewhere but there's no information about it online it's just hearsay but anyway William was a thief he went around robbing people and uh, he would he would dish out some of the loot to his group so they looked at him like he was kind of a Robin Hood and one time, this sort of story goes from memory, so it might be wrong, this might be absolutely wrong. Uh, his friend got caught for something, I believe, by the police service at the time, whoever they were. I don't know if it was on Garda Shikana back in the 1800s or what, what was it, but his friend got caught for something and he agreed with the police that he would give them Crotty in return for his freedom. So the cops said, hmm, that sounds like an okay deal, bud. Set it up. So, the friend went on a session, right? Session on, got whiskey and stuff with Crotty, who has gold stashed all around this mountain and goods. Fish just jumped right there. Um, we'll get to that in a second. He went on the session with Crotty, and um, what you call it? I want to make sure my camera doesn't fall. That would be terrible. And. Uh, Brought whiskey up, got Crotty incredibly drunk. He wet his gunpowder. I don't know how he did that, but he wet his gunpowder. And he took his dagger, right? Which, as a highwayman, you need a gun and a dagger, apparently. Um, and then led the police to capture him. He was captured. Um, and he was hung for his crimes. But in his name, his wife... And he had a son at the time. Over this way. His wife threw their son off of this cliff and herself in his name, killing both of them. So there was people who fell out, who were thrown off this cliff and jumped in Crotty's name. That's so the story goes in the 1800s. And um, I just found it really, really interesting. And I've been waiting to get up here with a long time. But the weather and time and stuff. But now I'm up here. Um, do you know the way I think that I'm a lucky person and I'm like walking around acting like I'm not gonna find gold, but I feel like I am, I'm not gonna find gold. Because in 2017 or 18, I'll link the article below as well, there was a school tour up here and uh, they were walking around and the teachers were telling them the story about Crotty's Lake and you know, all this and stuff. And they found gold. <laughs> They didn't know what to do, so they contacted the authorities and they said, well done, thanks for finding that, I'll see you later. And that's the last we ever seen of that gold. So wherever it is, I don't know. Maybe it's in a museum somewhere, I would hope. 
Um, but yeah, that's that's the story about Craddy's Lake. He was a highwayman. He robbed stuff. It was like not known whether it was a myth or not. There is writings from him, I believe. Um, and yeah, they actually found gold up here. So that's not a coincidence, I would say. I hope the wind doesn't drive any mad. I'm gonna jump down here behind the rocks. Um, you imagine I found a piece of gold right now. How funny would it be to hide hide a little piece of gold up here just so someone can find it? Um, but anyway, yeah, that's the story. Hope you enjoyed the video. I met two lads up here. They were very nice guys. We were talking about drones and stuff. I tried to fly my drone, but uh, it got radio interference with the, the, because we're in a bowl right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out the other side of the mountain and fly the drone in just to get some shots of up here. So yeah, that's how the story goes. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. It was a hell of a hike to get up here. Um, yeah, hope you enjoyed. If you liked the video, give it a like and a comment and a subscribe and a look at this lake. Looks very tempting to swim in, but this, this feeds all of Carrick, their water, so I won't swim in it. Thank you, Carrick, shout out. Um, yeah, but there's like families walking over there and stuff, and I don't know about the cave. I, there's not much information on it, and I feel like a cave up here such a popular spot would be more talked about if they could find it that is so I carried my drone the whole way up for nothing um, couldn't leave it in the car I guess but now I'm gonna have to go back around and uh, yeah get, get out of here after I get some drone shots the crazy thing is is as I'm walking along here there's all these holes you know little holes and little caves look at there's another up there holes and caves and all this kind of thing I could be walking over a hell of a lot of gold right now <laughs> but I'll never know and we may never know but it's really cool to see and we'll enjoy it what that what that what that What at? That's golden colour. I don't usually know that stones come golden colour. I have to now know what that is. What at? What that though? I'm gonna place you here while I get it. It's not gold. It's not gold. My mind is playing tricks on me. Whoa, why nearly fell in? My mind is playing tricks on me. Looks gold. Looks underwater. But it's not. You know how excited I got there? I literally thought. Whoa, I nearly forgot my drone. Uh, I literally thought there was a huge piece of gold underwater right there. I was like, Okay, I'm rich. <laughs> Come on, Steve. -o. Use your training. Use your, use your military training ground eyes and spot gold. <laughs> Damn, now I'm hyped. I wasn't hyped. I was like, ah, you'll never find gold up here. It's up here for 200 years. And then I just seen something gold in the water. And I was like, oh my God, I could find something gold. Yeah, but realistically, it's not gonna happen, is it? Unless. Oh yes, I mean, no, I was not about to be rich. If I found gold, I would hand it over to the authorities. Hey, how cool is this? The grass is just growing underwater. Chill. So judging by the picture that I've seen online, I'm about to show right now. I think that's there, over there. So we're gonna have a look. That's the only indication of a cave that we have. We'll give a look. Now I'm going into army training ground eyes looking, you know, can't stop looking, scanning everything. Uh, 
but realistically I'm not going to find any gold until I do. Okay, sheep. Um, yeah. So we'll keep keep looking. So I'm going to climb up here, see if I can, and see if this is a cave in here. It may be. It may not be. I'm going to leave my camera and drone here. But we'll see in a moment. So that is a cave right there. It's very slim, slips in. It's just very narrow. It goes in, 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 then stops. Found this cool stone in here. It's like pink. So, yeah, uh, very, very hard to get back out of that without being murdered by yourself. Or rocks. So yes, we did find the cave. Yes, someone has been lighting campfires here. And uh, I can imagine that the stories these rocks could tell you would be quite cool. But we're going to try and go over these rocks now. See if I can without breaking everything. And uh, get out of here. It's a dead fish. Got another little tiny one over there. Watch someone in the comments tell me that that pink rock I threw into the lake was worth something. <laughs> I'll be back up here. So I was on earlier on about I'm on some X Games shit, that's what I was talking about. That's just a drop. So you gotta have the agility of a ram and the survivability of a cockroach. I just happen to have the two of those. All right, also I was thinking, this crotty guy, right? He was an absolute crime lord for his day, back in the day, the 1800s, he was a crime lord, way ahead of his time. Uh, if you think, I was just thinking to myself while I was looking around, if I think that I can come up here, just give a gander around a few rocks and find gold, what am I smoking, man? Because this guy was crime lord. He's not gonna just, like, here's a piece of gold, all right? He's just gonna go like this. Oh, hold on a sec. Now, that'll be all right. No one will find that. So, you know, it's gonna take a bit more than that. But anyway, these kids found it, some of it, ooh, when they were uh, on a school tour. And apparently the next day, the day after, the place was uh, covered with people with metal detectors. I think they counted a couple of hundred people with metal detectors, came from all over trying to find a fortune. So, yeah. This is a fab day though. Those mountains, you know. You just know. I also can't remember if I said it or not, but those mountains are called the ass's ears. Another name for a donkey is an ass. They look like two donkey ears and apparently it was a tail. Best water you can get. <sighs> probably E. coli in that. It's lovely though. Also, I don't bring water with me on any of these trips. If you don't know that by now, and you're <laughs> welcome to the channel. I drink Monster Energy before I go. I mean, wait, I don't drink Monster Energy at all, and I don't bring water. So I had to drink that because I was very thirsty. All right, we're nearly down. Now that it's three o'clock, Guten Abend. I speak German. But do you ever try to puff on the right side? Put it up in your mind. But do you ever try to puff on the left side? Put it up in your mind.
Talking about the same old stories they've heard about the 